When Zach and I worked together at A&M, there was a day where we were all in a room together and I told him, when you become a head coach, don't forget about me. Well, my motto this year is humble and hopeful. So it's humble during success. And then when things don't go the right way, you have face adversity, then you're hopeful. I just try to be a, a man that can support them and not only be a great coach, but also be a great mentor and inspire them to be great. And did you see the smile on Troy Walter's face? I grew up around football. My parents said when I was born, they put a football in my hand immediately. This chapter in my life is really a result of my previous chapters. Right down the middle, Walter! Floats out there, and it is caught! Downfield she goes. He's got it again, Troy Walters! I played the position, so I understand the good coaches, the bad coaches, what they did well, what they didn't do well. I go, I go with your inside foot back and then go one, two. He always critiques us. We don't take it personal, but at the same time, we be like, well, show us how it's done. Pull your clip up so we can understand how to run it. If my pad level's high or I'm not doing the right technique, then they'll let me know. We also always have a chat about the Belindikoff trophy because he won it too, so I always said I'm better than him. So that's the fun part about it. It's in the end zone. Oh, He's yeah. got it! Yes. Touchdown! Yes. Sprinting down the middle of the field to the 20, the 10, yeah. the 5. Touchdown! Corner! Caught! Jamar Chase! We have a good time, and no one takes anything personal, and I think that's the beauty of, of our group. Coaching is a calling. It's all about the players. Being intentional on getting to know them and asking them how they're doing. He's just a guy that you can always just depend on and hit up. You need a guy that you can lean to and trust. You know, I think Troy is a, like a father figure to you. He pushes me every day to be great. Just holding us accountable, you know, our work standard and how we want to work. He's always been supportive for me, always making sure that I'm doing my job. On and off the field, he wants to talk to us. When you have coaches like that, you know you build a bond. Go on and say it. Go on and say it, T. And let the world know. You want them to develop habits that carry on past their playing days. I always try to look at the positive and things. And when guys make mistakes, yeah, you made a mistake. Now, how do we correct it? How do we learn from it? How do we grow from it? Just instill as many disciplines that have helped me to be the man that I am into them. No, kill him. Kill him. That's the mindset. Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant gives the two. He ain't worried about no, he ain't worried about uh, I'm on the two. No, every time you step on the field, you're killing whoever in front of you. I love Troy. He's a great coach, great friend also. We did it! We did it! <laughs> My joy comes from seeing them being successful. Extremely blessed to be their coach. Not only are they talented on the field, they're equally talented off the field. And those are guys that I wouldn't mind my family to be around and, and kids, and they, they go out of their way to make sure that they feel welcome. I'm a man of faith, so it's all about having faith in things. So even if, during adversity, there's a reason behind it. When we do big things, we're gonna stay humble. We're gonna be grateful. And then when adversity comes, which it will, we're gonna be optimistic. Ah, yeah! oh, no! I look back on my career and it was eight years playing in the NFL and still have a whole lot of life to live. But then making sure that when my assignment here is over, whenever that is, that I can look back and I can say that the players were affected and I made an impact.